forward, gauntlet extended. No more trickery. Grabs his head. There you go. And, barring a miracle, <laughs> your raw strength alone is more than enough to finish the thing off. You tear his head from his shoulders. There's a shower of sparks. He falls inert. The battle is won. It is only now that you realize that the structure about you is very much alive with noise and commotion. The shadows outside of this place seem to dance, and the entire building is trembling quite a bit, not unlike when the voice summoned these four adaptoids into the chamber. You're thinking there is a lot of movement going on in this building, if not upon your area than elsewhere. What are you guys going to do? Is the cup still there? Well, as I say, it's more of a canister, but yes, but it, yeah, it is okay. still there. Attempt to destroy that. You bring your boot down on it, and there's an explosion of mango-smelling goo that uh, erupts out across the floor. And I'm going to just quickly have us go look and see if the gun is over there. Mm. He turns the oh, and heads off in that direction. Uh, you can see the distance of three rooms of identical size to this one. Uh, you can see into all of them in the arc of your line of vision. You can furthermore see that whereas this room was dominated by the gears and the chains, uh, the next one actually has a, uh, what looks to have been a very antiquated system of pulleys and conveyor belts that have crisscrossed and exploded through the chambers, leaving a leathery serpent of wheels and cogs. Past it, in the farthest room, you do see quite a few adaptoids, a half dozen of them. <clears throat> they walk toward the center of the room, and then in unison, there's an explosion of <clears throat> kicked steam, dust, and plasma fire as they fly straight up and through the roof of that room out of sight. And the trembling occurs a little more when that happens. No gun now? Yeah, that's it. Since he left, if he's bringing them with him, it sounds like he's rallying. Yeah, he was pretty wounded. <coughs> yes, he's done as well. And they've all going up. That this is this might be a little out there, but I'm gonna attempt to attune myself to what that gun was and see if I can locate it. Give me a powers check. Seventeen. You hold the fire forward. Once again, it's the obscuring dark. Or, uh, trying to light away. It's obscuring darkness. You all become aware of something. Again, the same time this sort of thing has happened. The gun left this place with him. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, as you hold the flame over the area, you all understand that technology was used to transport the voice to the Varza Bridge. There is no visual cue of that, just knowledge that fills the senses of the hearth guardsmen. So that worked good. <laughs> I'm assuming that's where all these guys are going. It's a reasonable assumption, right? So I think they've abandoned the mill at this point. I think he's the concern. I don't think I don't know what what more do we want to do here. If we, uh, I think we should try to fuck off find. Well, him do we want to figure him. out what they were doing here? I, I well, think, we could try to find that out yeah. too. But I just don't want us to run into a whole, a whole bunch of them. I don't want to run into that field again as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. We didn't use my flame. He brought us out of that field yeah, that shut true. us down. Yeah. I'm just saying we have to be careful here. We don't want to get overwhelmed by these adaptoids. So, um, and it does seem that they are adapting to our abilities. So maybe yeah. manual means will be the best. Yeah, course I think of sticking action. to as much as possible, stick it to you know, more physical means as opposed to pendulum means. Um, Do you have you dealt with adaptoids in the past? No. Okay. Not. Not. Because I don't know if they. I want. I want to know if they carry over. The it seems process to the next. I mean, well, these four we fought them, and they adapted to our power. Well, assuming right. they use some are sort of emerald essence, but I think it's right. more. Are they sharing the knowledge? Right. Next time we deal with them, is it Borg or is right? It I think it's sharing more the Marvel Universe's concept of Ultron. 
where he could just adapt to his situations and always finds a way to get the upper hand. Right. Does he retain that knowledge? Is there, or is, there it, is it, is it uh, every time you deal with him, he, he uses those I'm pretty sure he can hold on to that level it. of thing. Okay. But no. No? Hearthguard turns and walks back into the chamber. The Pendrel men who named Ultron were wrong to name him that. There is the Adaptoid, then there is Ultron. There should be no Ultron in this world. They were quick to name him. Hmm. Adaptoids lose mimicked power, all save one, the so-called Super Adaptoid. We start off at a base of zero each time we fight him. Like, it's good. It's very good. Yeah. Well, I mean, do we do a little reconnaissance in this and yes, head off yes, to the I bridge? So, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, do a little recon in this building, see what's what. I think everybody's gone. I suspect they all follow the voice to the bridge. Let's keep looking. But we'll look through this and then head that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Given the narrative nature of the campaign, we will accelerate that period of time rather than play it out in real time because it is something that takes a good deal of time. The search begins in earnest, and by the time you have generally left the scene of your battle with the so-called <coughs> voice and these adaptoids, uh, you find that there is no evidence of any continued habitation by the machines. You do, however, find that large sections of this mill have been obviously repurposed. The Hearthguard does offer, upon coming to a chamber that looks very much like a motor pool's workshop, toward the back of the building, that it looks as though, from the materials of this place, the Adaptoids were building more of themselves. You find casings and half-finished limbs. An assembly line was obviously constructed here. Furthermore, <clears throat> during the efforts to climb to higher, uh, or, yeah, higher floors of the building, you do manage to catch outside of a fallen wall going off toward the horizon a long line of what rather looks like a flock of geese making its way away from the building, which you realize is a stream of dozens of adaptoids disappearing over the horizon, flying off and out of sight. Beyond that, however, you find one other item of interest. There are machines, there are machineries, there are tools, as I say, there are vastly unfinished adaptoids. You don't find many, uh, un many aptoids in pro uh, production that <coughs> are at their final stage. It's always midpoint stage to early uh, function of creation that you are finding. But you do find something else. You find many supply drop crates on many floors, obviously the source of the machineries that were brought in while this assembly line was constructed. <clears throat> the crates in question have not been removed, they have not had all of their identifiers removed from them. There are perfectly <clears throat> mundane shipping labels and lay, uh, lading on the crates. And uh, there is an identifier of the source of all of the crates that is not needed uh, by any of your uh, detective skills or efforts, shall we say. It is a, a, a large matter that is hidden in plain sight. As each of the drop crates seems to originate with something called Sandhurst. And so, uh, making a continuing narrative decision and recognizing what was going on here and what you have managed to drive out of this place. By late afternoon, you do make your way out of this would-be adaptoid factory. And upon seeing you, a very <coughs> concerned Boris reemerges and meets you just within the face of the ruins. <coughs> You, you have, you have done it. You, you, you have forced them into retreat, my friend. You are it's true, true to your word. Yes. Whatever they do here, is it done? 
believe what we stopped or stopped it for the time being. May I fled, but we know where you went. Building more of those robots. Who, who, who is this man that would rebuild Ultron's armies? Called the voice of Ultron. He mulls that over. They got there was shipping labels attached to all the supplies, and that name on the shipping label was Sandhurst. I, I know something of these things. I I know the Sandhurst is a uh, mil military contractor uh, from the Americas. Uh, many of the salvage operations, uh, more, more to, to Simacria than here, uh, have been funded uh, uh, by the Sandhurst. Many of the technopaths that come with the weapons. They are mercenaries protecting Sandhurst's holdings. He shakes his head. Western devils. Be beyond this, uh, <clears throat> the voice of Ultron. Uh, when Ultron destroyed, you know, I, I tell you, he, he was living machine, you know, trying to become better living thing. Become apex predator, right? That's what I tell you. When he destroyed all manner of strange things poured out of Mount Wandigore, uh, one of them, yes, called uh, a voice, voice of Ultram, was uh, man grown in, in vats. Uh, synth, synth, uh, is, synth is, is, is machine man, yeah? Uh, look human, but is machine. All, all of Ultram things, none of them are. Just his experiments, yeah. Eh, shakes his head. Not enough that he must grind our lands on the boot, but now his legacy does who know why. Uh, eh, this factory, it is done then. This place no can be a problem. Uh, well, if we destroy the, the processing plant. There's also the other issue of the. Uh... Take a minute here. Mm -hmm. We have a robot assembly plant at our disposal and lots and lots of adaptoids that just left to a place that we intend to go can we repurpose this factory to create our own army? we need the manpower to do it right I, that's perhaps. a step right right i mean maybe we need manpower i don't know how automated this was um you know we haven't really we, have, uh, we also don't know what investigated it at all. What wills these creatures, these machines? We once we build them, they might just take sure. the, the voice. So, you know. do not dismiss this, Boris. Tell you, Boris. Tell you of his dreams. Eh? He tell you of the thing that should be. The armored man on the high tower. He built robots for himself. He will need an army of robots. He reaches out and places his hand on your shoulder. If he is to be our king. And that is where we'll end today's session. Yeah.